guys, I hope you're having a nice weekend. I just wanted to show you some things on our Google Classroom, uh, some changes to this week's social studies work, and a few other little announcements that, I've, um, that I have for you. So, if you look at the screen, I want you to look at our Google Classroom and remember that everything that you need to access the homework or the schoolwork is in the classwork tab. So I'll click classwork at the top here. And then our folder or section that we're working with is now called remote learning work. In here, I want you to go down to the tech account login information post. And you'll see if I press view material, that I've added a couple more things in here. So the first thing is something called get epic login instruction. Epic is an online library, basically, where you can choose from thousands of different books to either read online or have read to you. So if you are an audiobook fan, this might be for you. Uh, so for this, you just go to the website where it says on number one here, and this is our class code. So you would enter that code and then you can see your name um, and add books to your profile. I have not used this before. It was recommended to me by lots of other teachers. So please look around, try it out, give me some feedback, let me know how you like it and um, what you're reading. Okay, so going back to the tech login place, um, I also added something called Social Studies Weekly. So last week, you guys were reading the Social Studies magazines in a PDF form, meaning it was just a picture of the magazine that you were reading. Um, well, we have figured out a way to get you online access to all the magazines and be able to do all of the reading and all of the activities digitally. So if you click on that, you'll see everybody's username, password, and I'll show you in just a second here the website you go to. I have created a fake account, Mr. Scooby-Doo, so that I can show you around without being in anybody else's account. So the website you're gonna go to is called app.studiesweekly.com. And you don't have to memorize that. I will have it linked in your daily assignments every time you need to work in there. So you're gonna put your username, which for me today is sdo or scooby-doo and everybody's password you guys is just edna lowercase one word edna so you're going to log in and you will see that the top publication is the california studies weekly fourth grade state history you're going to click on that and all of the weeks will show up week one two three four all the way to i believe 30 something this upcoming week, you guys are gonna be looking at week 12, Mission Life. So you're gonna press continue reading, and you'll see that you are now looking at the magazine um, with all the kind of subheadings up on the side here, and the text here with the pictures. Now, what's really cool about this feature is that if you click here, it will read the magazine out loud to you, which is awesome. And if you click on the pictures, it blows them up and makes them bigger so it's easier to see the details. Okay, so if you scroll down, you can also see on the side here, it shows you the different activities. So here, this cute little rat is showing you the crossword. So you would press play and it brings you into the crossword that's in the back of every one of these magazines. So the clues are down here and then you would just actually type the answer into um, straight into it. So this would be for nine down, device used to tell the American Indians when it was time to do their daily tasks. Ooh, I think that one is, oops, bells, bell. Ooh, I got it right. Okay, so now to get out of this, you would just press the back arrow and you're back to the magazine. Now along the way, there's gonna be these opportunities for you to collect coins, okay? And that's by answering these multiple choice questions. When you go down on the left-hand side to the think and review, this is the portion where there are the comprehension questions. Make sure you're really understanding and cementing in the knowledge of what you just read. So you'll press think and review, and then you'll see these four questions listed here. 
Some of you might be wondering, well, how am I going to write the answers to those? It's a little hard to know unless I show you. So what you're gonna do is actually just double click on any of the words in this and then go over to this pencil right here, click that, and you can type in your responses here. The Spanish, oops, Spanish, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Don't forget when you're finished writing to click the green save button. That way none of your precious work will be lost. When you're ready to move on to the next section of the reading, <clears throat> just go ahead and press this next arrow. Okay, so this is how you're going to complete the social studies from here on out. No more PDF. This time you're actually going to be in the program. So again, where you find that information for your login is in the Google Classroom, Oop, back to class work, um, back to remote learning work and down to the tech account login information. This is where I'm always going to update and post all of your digital login information for whatever <clears throat> website we're working with. Um, okay, since we're in the classroom, I wanna show you something else I added. It's this document called Pictures of My Work. Um, as it says here, use this document to drop in any photos of handwritten work or pictures from specialist projects, like the stuffy that you made last week. So if there's something that um, isn't typed up or you can't access online but you want to document it record it show it to me anything like that you can just open up this document and you can copy and paste your picture into here okay so i believe that is it for the google classroom um okay i guess the only other thing to tell you is thank you for those of you who have been sending me letters and notes and um, different things in the mail. I have a bunch of stationery and plan on writing back to you today. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.